Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Springfield, Missouri with the Jimmy Boy from JC News Now as he stands around filming inside of a privately owned shopping plaza and he ends up getting trespassed for his troubles. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. All right, they're open. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Doing great. How are you? I'm doing swell. Are you guys going in? No. Uh -oh. Thank you. All right. Oh, the guy saw us sitting He's sitting behind the desk. Oh, I did. This video is about 45 minutes long, and about 30 of those minutes is nothing but dead air. So I'm just going to save everybody the trouble and just uh, get rid of the dead air and put in as much as the usable content as I can possibly get. Because I don't think anybody wants to sit around for 45 minutes and watch just him staring out a window. So let's continue on. Five minutes later. They honor and respect our First Amendment right to film what we can see in a public area. This is a public sidewalk we run. It's actually probably private, but uh, it's owned by many businesses. And so they can't tell us to get off unless they get permission from every business. Were you born this stupid or did you have to work on it? Because that's not how that works that's not how any of this works but you know what you're about to find that out the hard way anyway so let's continue on with the show shall we so it's good day farm dispensary here on uh i think this is campbell off of campbell yeah that's kind of cool ain't it 346 minutes later Taking some pictures. Of people? Yeah. Purpose? Yes. What's the purpose? I'm not going to answer that question. How's it going? All right, how are you? Pretty good. Is there a reason you're videotaping all the. Yes. What's that? I'm not going to answer that question. I'm working on a story, actually. A story? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to get security. We're going to have to ask you to leave because you're videotaping medical patients coming in and out of a, a facility. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, and I'm sure those medical patients value their rights just as much as you value the First Amendment, but you are on private property, so why don't you make like a tree and get out of here, or leave, or whatever. It's funnier whenever Biff says it. One hour later. You guys got IDs? Huh? You guys got IDs? Excuse me, who are you? You guys have IDs for video? Oh. Just ask asking question me. Don't get close to me. I want to make sure you're not carrying. Okay, well. So, why are you guys here to video? No, your business. It is our business. This is our property line. This okay, is public, pu public sidewalk, buddy. No. So, yep. why are you your videoing? Your security's inside the door, sir. Get back to it. Stop. Mm -hmm. hey, why are you guys videoing? None of your business. Your security's inside the door, not outside. No, actually, it's on property. Nobody's breaking so. in. Mm -hmm. Nobody's breaking out. Are you a, so are are you a cop? Is inside the business. Are you a cop? Or are you a security guard? Get back in there and mind your own business, dummy. When are you going to learn not to talk to people like that? Didn't this guy already teach you that lesson that you just can't go around talking to people like that without consequences? Sure, you have your First Amendment, but there are limits to it, dude. You just can't do that without consequences. Dude, you got ID. So private property right now. So? So you need to get off private property. Or, Why or, are you here? Your private property. What? Pass that door, not inside. You're right, Why buddy. That's called a cartilage. Why are we here? None of your business. If you were to come out with a different attitude, I might explain something to you. No, Who, what, you to. what makes you think that you can ask me oh, for an ID? You're a security well, guard. Cops, so. Call them, buddy. Get back to work. Many, many minutes later. What's going on? Hey, how's it going, man? Oh, pretty good. I'm gathering content for a story. Okay. Yeah. 
trying not to freak out my customers. So I, I have to make money. I understand. So I have a lot of people that come over from there and then buy something. Got so. you. Well, if they're in public, they have no expectation expectation of privacy. Okay. Well, no. if I lose money, though, it's going to piss me off. Okay. So, it's a family business. It's, it's, pay, pay that's not bills, on me, you know? man. It's not on me. Okay. So you're just planning on standing out here filming them the for, whole time? For, for a little while, probably. So is this going on YouTube or what? Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about the story? Uh, no, not yet. It hasn't been published. I gotta wait till it's published. Okay. Yeah. Is there a certain YouTube channel I can follow or? Well, let's see how it goes and then I'll tell you. Well, now that I got the name of the business right there, I can call him and uh, tell him exactly how to issue a privacy complaint against your channel. So that way you won't do this kind of stuff in the future. And there's not a damn thing you can do about it either because that's the way it's going to go down. I mean, he wants to know who you are. And I will be only too happy to tell him who you are so he can issue a com privacy complaint against your channel. Many unbearable hours later. Zoo at the house. Yeah, I'm just going to go out here and check out his rig real quick. Left his cat open. I couldn't read the cat. There's a, the there's a second line. unit right there. The yeah. <laughs> Gathering content for a story. 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 I can't close that right now. It ain't published. Why not? It's not published. My publisher would get upset with me. Oh, what uh, article are you with? I'm independent. Independent? Yeah. Aren't you your own publisher then? Yeah. Okay. That's cool, man. How are you? Good. Good. It's hot. Good. Hot day, huh? It's boo. Yes, it is. What's your name? I'm not going to give that. Uh, not? Nah. Are you 1824? Yes, I am. Awesome. Appreciate your transparency. Yeah, why not? Awesome. They keeping y'all busy today? Oh, uh, it's called the common, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, why do you think we're out here? Why are we out here? I didn't call you. You didn't call us? I didn't. You have to go ask them, I guess. Right. Like I said, I'll tell you why we got called, okay? I just said I'm okay. going to know what's going on. So I guess people got spooked because you guys are recording that. They don't really know what's going on. Did you kind of tell them what you're doing? I said I was gathering content for a story, and that they didn't like that. Well, so. I'd like to listen to your story. What kind of stories do you have? Well, I, I'm not going to answer that question yet. <laughs> Both, man. I don't mind. Yeah, do you have a... Yeah, I wouldn't mind reading. What website? I'll tell you. I'll tell you when we see how this goes. Okay. Okay. All right. well, it's up to you, man. All I right. Mean, I really want to subscribe and see what it is. So. I'll give it to you if everything goes good. Okay. First of all, Jimmy, you are not a uh, journalist. A journalist that would not stand outside of a business like that for hours on end, acting like a complete jackass to everybody that comes around they have a uh, higher professional standards than that and second of all journalists don't go out and create the stories they report the stories what you're doing here is creating the problem not reporting the problem you dumbass what do you think things aren't going to go good i don't know we're just gonna that's up to you well what do you mean well i haven't broken a law Saying you broke the law. Okay, good. That's what I want to hear. I'm not detained, Emma. No, as of right now, we're just talking. Okay, good. All right. Good job. Bye, Karen. Get her license plate. <laughs> How'd that work for you, Buster? Didn't work, did it? Huh. The party's only just started. 
Dumbass, you're about to find out. Five minutes later. I'll wait until your partner gets here so we can kind of okay. kill two birds with one stone, okay? Okay. All right, so basically, we got in touch with the property manager. Mm -hmm. We let him know what's going on. He doesn't want you guys on the property no more, and he would like you to leave. Okay. Did every store down here sign a trespass notice? They don't need to. Really? If you're on the parking lot with this property that he bought, that he has, then you got to leave. Okay. Oh yeah. So if you're not using any of the Oh boy, did you ever call that one wrong, Jimmy boy? You thought everybody on this uh, plaza had to trespass you in order for it to work. Well. You definitely miscalculated on that one. So, congratulations, dude. You're a total dumbass. Us? No, we don't have this. You have our names and badge numbers. Oh, you got that? Yeah. And if I don't leave, what? Well, then we would have to identify you, trespass you from the property, possibly go to jail or give you a ticket, one or the other. We, wouldn't want to, we don't want to do that. We don't okay. Have to. Did you solicit a trespass? I asked them if they want to trespass. You so, solicited a trespass. I, asked, I, I, I can ask the prison owner what he wants to do, okay? Sir, you violated my rights. Not really, no. Yes, you did. Okay, are you going to leave or no? I'm going to leave. Are you going to leave? Yes, sir. Okay. I'm going to leave. I don't want to rest. Okay, okay. All That's right. good. Yep, you violated my rights, boo. And I didn't. Yes, you did. No, he didn't, dumbass. I mean, you came onto this property and knowing everybody that you could find, and guess what? You paid the damn price. Sure, like I've said before, you do have the First Amendment, but there are still consequences to your actions. And I'll tell you what, there there will be some more consequences in your future uh, with uh, everybody that you tend to torment on your channel because, well, from this point on, I'm going to make it my goal every time I see one of your videos that uh, I will contact these business owners and tell them how to issue a privacy complaint on your channel because in the end, you attract more flies with honey than you do with vinegar. So think about that, dude. Well, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.